Hello and welcome back to Moon Ring. I'm learning things very slowly, but I am learning things. Um, I have learned recently that there's a lot of false walls in uh, Moon Upon Thos, and I am uh, now like very persistently bumping into basically everything in order to find access to some of these strange rooms strange houses abandoned places i also learned what a uh, book looks like <laughs> you oh, go ahead and throw your uh your witty comment in the comments i don't see the point of the city's priests we all know who we follow our dreams make it quite clear dreamless must be hard to be dreamless you don't know which god to follow true I wonder if um, there's something outside the city. Because I noticed there's some like darkness out there. If I should go check that out. Oh, I can't. I, I see. I can't. Interesting. I'm gonna check out all of. I I know that there's there's no way that the game is gonna insist on us like bumping into like every single wall like this. Look at all the books in there. My dude is hoarding all the books. Let's go read them. The shelf seems to be entirely filled with books on the many ways one might prepare Caldera's principal crop. It warns against letting spores touch anything dead. A book titled Our Friend Friends in the Sky seems to be a study of each moon's individual traits. For some reason, it fills you with dread. You find a book titled Ancient Sibirun 8. One word catches your eye. Is, which means fire. Writing that down. Is equals fire. And I'm sure I've ma made note of that. Yeah, with a tag dictionary 8. Moons, mushrooms, wall clue. I wonder if I like ask someone about that, what they would say is um, mushrooms, uh, fire. Okay. What do you have to say about Roche? I've heard of them. A great inventor back in the old days. Okay, well, we, uh, we still have more to explore. Is there something in here we can check out? No, I don't want to steal. I never want to steal. Um, oh, I don't think we've checked out the general store, really. Uh, there's not really anything around here that I care about. Oh, book in there. Ah, and no way to access it. Okay, book in there as well. Can we... I feel like I see the route. Oh, we can't get in here either. Can we get in through that window? Nope. Can we get in through here? Nope. Shucks. Okay. So it looks like we can't get in to this set of buildings and they are probably pretty important. I imagine. Not much in there that matters. And we can go back to... Ooh, what's this? This seems important. Yeah, I figured. Devotional tier, wow. Good lord, imagine. There's a, just a devotional tier right there. You just gotta explore like every nook and cranny. Anything out there? Nope. There's a... My heart is behind a wall made of... Oh. Just, you know, word made of walls? I don't know. Hello. Roche? Roche long dead by now, surely. Everyone's got the same thing to say about Roche. Do you have anything to say? Hums pettily. <laughs> oh, prettily, sorry. Not pettily. I mean, it may as well be the same thing. Um... What could I ask you about? Fire? Is? No? Moons? 
There are five. There were once none, nor son. Um... Topics discussed. Almara? Actually, it's quite a tedious poem. Oh, that's the, uh... Should probably kill the author at some point. For aesthetic reasons. I wonder if that poem is to do with the jest. The jest. No... What about just jest? No response. Okay. Tedious. How may an old priest of balance help you? I don't know. Great forest wolf. Not much to do uh, at the um, street of gods. But that's okay. I think we're pretty much done here. I want to... I know where I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find... Um, we're, well, I guess we could go to the Fallen Tunnel, but the, we're trying to find one of the other towns that are, still kind of evade me. Um, where is it now? Bastion, Southwest. There's a cave to the Southwest where the tooth may lie. I wish you would tell me where that, where they were. Like, who told me that? I'm pretty sure that was in uh, the, the wolf's home. Um, steadfast hand is in the garden of Lorelei. Strange words. An inscription is scrawled in the stone, right? Wintershoal. Some cave or tomb west of Wintershoal. Uh, we could head back towards Wintershoal, which it seems. What is this? Uh, now hidden where no book should be. First is now hidden where no book should be. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a weird and cryptic clue. I have no idea what that would even look like. Where is it that no book should be? But I think what I'd like to do is head back towards, uh, Winter Shoal. And, um, check out the Fallen Tunnel. So we're gonna go north. Northeast. We'll kill things along the way. Wow, you managed to get a crit off on me, huh? Did we get any blood? Got a little bit of money. Blood tainted. Nice thing about putting gash on a, on a creature is you pretty much know they're going to die. Given enough time. Let's uh, eat some food. Yeah, I'm gonna eat my moldy food. Uh, we're good now. Alright, we're, we're heading northeast along the road because we want to head to that weird uh, tunnel. I guess if we encounter some more combats like this, then I should um, use my insanity to uh, build up our our one combats with madness. Yeah, like do this and then go insane. And then we start, we just kill some bats. Like no way we can't win against bats, right? Right? I'm pretty sure I died against bats few times now oh I remember what the the other town is called because we have to learn about Roche somewhere in the amber on the on an island northwest of the red grove where is the red grove I swear I did see the red grove at one point I just don't remember in what context but we'll find it eventually we're gonna explore everything oh we don't want to in bump into whatever that was this is where we're going we're following this road to the fallen tunnel and we're fighting bats while mad this is a this is what the joker sees whenever he's fighting batman <laughs> literally just like a traditional roguelike with like really old school aesthetic and he's just beating bats and laughing maniacally. It's pretty good. 
Okay, get some more herbs. Always love me some herbs. Get some berries. Sure, we like berries, I suppose. Do we though? Do we do we like it really it really depends on how difficult it is to find said berry. There it is. I guess we like berries that much. Alright, uh more bats. Let's go into madness mode. Kill some elite bats. We're we must be getting pretty close. I would imagine we're getting pretty close here. Where are we here? Uh Jester. Yeah, we need to oh not that close. We need to kill 14 more creatures while insane. Okay, let's look at our map. We're getting pretty close to the fallen tunnel. There it is. You don't really exist. Probably I don't want to explore this dungeon while I'm like insane. Our lad is going to be yelling, so un undoubtedly we can't really hide at all. Just waiting, 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 waiting to not be insane anymore. There we go. Okay, what is that? That looks like a big imposing creature. I wonder if that is actually the temple guardian that I've been hearing about. Okay, we, well, we have awakened it, so uh, get ready. Get ready. What are we going to do against this thing? Well, you know, um, one thing I love to do is throw down a bloodstone. Ooh, God. Death gaze, huh? Hurl our weapon at it. It's, uh, it's getting pretty close to death. Can we... You think we could get away with this? Bloodstone? We did it. Ow. Well, we're bleeding. Uh, we're maybe gonna die to our own bleeding. Do I have a health potion? I don't think I do. Um... Hmm... Man, that really sucks. So what I'm going to do, hopefully I make it to the door in time. Yeah, we put down a checkpoint and our status effect changed. Oh, we have enough devotion points to gain a gift. What did we get? Uh, oh, we got to devotion from the God. Was that that seriously wasn't a relic guardian? All right. Do we have enough kindling to do a uh, campfire? Uh, where is our campfire? Um, but, 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 but. Where is it? Oh, we have a devotional tier we should use at some point. I keep forgetting about that. We only have seven kindling. Don't we get a discount, though? Yo, where is our campfire camp kit? We require eight kindling and we have seven. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's not going to do it. Let's, um, let's roam around in the woods and see if we can find some. Because I don't want to, um kind of like throw away our progress even however minor there's some kindling i know we're low health i know we are we're, we're getting some kindling right now come on we're gonna be fine enough kindling to make a fire all right let's uh rest by at this oh really Wow, you're getting crits, huh? I mean, good for you, I suppose. OK, 
Okay, area clear. Um, we want to make a campfire here now. Oh, we want to pick up this money first. Okay. We're leaving. Uh, we're going back to the fallen hole. Sunken hole, whatever it's called. Fallen tunnel. Neither of those. Antidote. Uh, we gash. We gash. That's what we like. We'll gash again. Blood collected. We got quite a lot of uh, blood from that lad. Can we make some... What is this endural? It is said that it is bitter flavor masks a powerful intoxicating effect, though its rarity is usually enough to deter such casual use. Used in the bre brewing of a powerful solvent used to break magical seals. Oh. Do we have an empty container? We do. Um, how come we can't make an endural, use endural stuff? Moonsat makes, I like that it tells us that. I really appreciate that, actually. Let's use bitter nectar. Arnott's panacea. That's actually really good for us. Wow, we one shot killed that lad. Feeling stronger, you know, I'm feeling really good about things. Okay, we need to find a pressure plate for that. Our stealth is really bad right now. Oh, God. I guess we, we're going to have to fight these things. Or maybe we don't. One... Oh, well, we're definitely going to have to fight this lad. That is, like, so stupidly effective. It's so effective. Even though it doesn't do, like, they don't... Those guys are, are immune to bleed. The fact that they're taking basically a bunch of uh, projectiles right on the face is is just, like, insane. It's so nice. I really don't want that to get nerfed. <laughs> um, oh, we have more broken constructs. Can we? Yeah, we can. We can repair some more constructs. Can we repair another one? You only have one. Okay. Um, orb of imbalance. Balance. I was just wondering if maybe I have a Rosetta Stone, but it doesn't look like I do. armor oh yeah we don't really have anything but what we yeah I'm, I'm starting to feel the the kind of the burn of uh our encumbrance right now it's not great i am not enjoying that for us okay this is oh god okay we have a bloodstone um off cooldown so we're just gonna place it behind them look at that and they block it completely from us and also they don't the fact that they don't die actually means i'm pretty sure they stop the projectile from hitting us so we don't take the bleeding it's just such an effective ability against that lad i i really am i'm pretty pretty happy with that discovery refill lamp nice nice that we yeah, okay. Okay. All right. I Oh, wow. Come on. I, I just want to kill you. Stop. Stop moving. All right. We we gash you. Blood tainted. Oh, that sucks. Come here. Critical hit. Starting to not care as much about stealth, to be honest. Cause like it's it's just like very time consuming i sh i really should though also our stealth is so bad that even when we're in stealth mode we still alert people to our presence i 
And we didn't even stealth that lad, given that we did most things right. It just, it might be that we can't do it anymore. Stun resistance. This guy is going to be a problem. Can we resist bleeding? No blood. Poise broken. Okay, well, that's a problem. We back up and we recover. Um, can we slam? The Actually, let's back up a bit and then do a hurl. Ow. Oh, how did he walked right up to me and... Okay. Found a large copper key. Nice. We'll need that, I'm sure. Antidote and more guineas. We have so many potions that if I just used them, I would have, like, far more empty bottles. Refill lamp, sure. I need more mana. Ooh, free ancient metal. I'll always take that. That's always nice. You know, this game kind of reminds me of, um, what was that game called? Occasionally, it's the game I'm thinking of was like really difficult. Um, but it was a traditional roguelike with uh, very kind of minimal vibes, but it was it was really hard uh, and I struggled a lot with it. I think I really appreciate when traditional roguelikes go for like the open world survival nature. I, I think I always have a better time with them than like when they go really traditional, traditional roguelike, because the really traditional roguelike is very linear when you think about it. Like, rogue itself? Sigil amulet. Original rogue was very linear. Like, you just go, you descend down the dungeon and, uh, you know, you get to the bottom, you get the uh, amulet of whatever, uh, Yondor, Yender, uh, fake fan, I know. Um, and, uh, and then you leave, you know, ascend, back up. What is this? Magical defense multiplier, uh, current durability pristine. Amulet is complex, of complex spirals and spikes is not very useful by itself. Mag sigil significantly increases the magical defense of other items worn. And the design is almost hypnotic. You find your finger tracing its curves unbidden. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's the the item that we came here seeking, but you know, it could be. Um, I much more prefer like if I was gonna make a traditional roguelike, and I have thought of it. I, I have thought of like literally taking up learning coding with the exclusive idea in mind to make my own traditional roguelike because I do enjoy traditional roguelikes. Um, I have had a pretty mixed experience overall with traditional roguelikes. Um, like after I played Caves of Cud, like to, to com total uh, obsession levels, um, I did explore other traditional roguelikes because I was like, oh man, this game is so good. You know, I did that thing where it's like, you think you like a genre and turns out I just liked the game. You know, you like the game is so good that it convinces you that you like the genre, but really you just like the game. It was like the avatar. <laughs> It was like the avatar of, uh, of games for me. It's like, oh, I don't like 3D movies. I just like Avatar. <laughs> 3D movies actually suck. They're actually really bad. Um, I, and I have like, you know, historically, I never have a good time while watching 3D movies, but I always have a good time watching Avatar, even if I'm not watching it in 3D, because it's, you know, I like the movie, it's fine. Someone's gonna get at me for saying I liked Avatar. For some reason, it's become trendy to not like that movie now, which, you know, fine. Enjoy not liking a thing, I suppose. Um, but you know, like similarly, Caves of Cud, it's the same deal. Um, 
I thought that I liked traditional roguelikes and then I played um what was the game what was the game called I really don't want to start dunking on traditional roguelikes because I do have a lot of respect for anyone who puts like basically their entire life into making a thing and that's basically how much time you have to put into making a traditional roguelike if you want it to be like good um caverns it wasn't caverns of chaos it was like the lost caverns of uh, i'm gonna look look into it hold on a second it's bothering me now that i can't remember caverns yeah um adam that's the one adam ancient domains of mystery is a great example of like um, for me at least like, you know, I, 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 you know, I like traditional roguelikes. I don't love traditional roguelikes um, Brogue is another great example. It's like, oh, wow, actually, um This is very alienating um, for me personally Can we uh, I was just wondering if maybe we could get them to step on that trap and I guess we can but they were flying so it didn't actually do anything to them um, You know in fact, yeah, I would kind of go on the line by saying every single traditional rogue like I've played with very small exceptions with very few exceptions have Led me to the belief that wow, I am actually not a huge fan of this genre this is a very, very punishing genre, and I'm kind of not down for that. Uh, and I know, I know that that is probably annoying for some people to hear. Um, people, people like their their challenge and their difficulty. And uh, if you're not down to clown, then you're you're kind of like just a tourist, you know. And I understand that, and I've even played that card on occasion. But uh, I also think that, that that's just another... I don't know, it's another another gate that people have to pass. And it's like, there's enough gates in the world. There's enough, there's enough annoying reasons to... <laughs> there's enough reasons to be annoyed, I suppose, than, than someone making you feel, like, small because you... you weren't you didn't just lose it a game but you weren't really prepared to get good at at it and yeah i did invoke the the, the words so we went to the fallen tunnel it was fine i don't know if it was particularly interesting um wouldn't say why don't we go to the hole i don't think we've been to the hole insert your witty jokes in the comments um you're gonna have to, I guess, excuse some of my jadedness when it comes to, like, not just, like, traditional roguelikes, but the, um, the ro traditional roguelike community is actually really chill, I have to say. It's, it's not, uh, my, my impression of, like, the get good crowd is not based on the traditional roguelike community. It's actually just based on people and gamers. I'm very cynical when it comes to uh, gamers because you know they have um, more often than not displayed a certain level of like completely tone deafness that that just like makes me ashamed to 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 play video games what a weird thing to say because it's like how it's just a, it's not even a hobby it's just like a form of entertainment it's sort of, sort of like saying uh, I'm ashamed to watch television because enough people who watch television have like this been weird or nasty um but it's true and uh you know if if that's something that would bother you to hear then all i ask is that maybe don't be part of the problem don't don't prove me right you know that's that's my attitude i don't know what got me on this train of thought but you know it's something that occurs to me occasionally often more often than not when it's like it seems like i'm apologizing for 
you know, either playing badly or not playing optimally or not playing this game or that game or, you know, I didn't like that game or I did like this game. It's always because, you know, there's, I, I'll see some kind of conversation online that becomes like instantly vitriolic and toxic for no good reason. Like literally no reason. Cause it's like, it's all video games. We're like, the, you know, this is someone's passion project and the only person I will hear, listen to, entertain when it comes to being like passionately maybe borderline vitriolic toxic even is a someone who works in video games because like it's like they've earned that jaded nature they really did like it's like you, you want to talk about get good someone had to get good at learning how to code and like applying that skill long enough to make a game you know the joke like how literally how do video games even get made I have, I have like coded, I have developed not to any kind of like execution. Like I haven't made anything, but I've done it enough to know that it sucks. And like you either enjoy it or you don't, but if you don't enjoy it and you still want to make a game, then it's like really uh, something I admire to, to, you know, actually spend that time and energy to make it. And so that's why I have basically zero respect for anyone who's like willing to shit talk when they really don't know exactly like how much time and effort this business is. It's insane. And that's why I'll say things like, hey, dude, your game is free. Stop that. Because like, I understand that maybe there's a perceived quality that you you understand like you know that some people are not going to necessarily want to spend money on the game that doesn't mean it's not worth money anyway it's a lot of nothing i think it's a lot of a lot of mind a lot of a lot of mind farts that don't necessarily go anywhere strange place to tell you oh yeah berlin huh I should go back to Berlin and talk to some people. You notice the weird bushes in the middle of the trees? Have I? There's a harrow dust symbol nearby, so I'll wager there's a jest of some sort. I know it means something, but who knows what? Not me. You've been north of here? Uh, yeah, I have actually. I solved that riddle. Brr. Yeah, I talked to you. So we're here back in uh, Harrow Dust, I guess. No, this isn't Harrow Dust. This is Winterfall or whatever. We are here and we are, you know. I guess I don't think there's anything here unless I like I could use another scrying stone. I kind of don't want to waste those, though. They, they are just like insanely valuable. Feels like there's something here around this like lake. I would like to figure this out. This is nothing, right? This is like, yeah, there's a letter S into the wall. Oh, I wonder if that is the um, walls made of words. The heart back at um, uh, Moon Upon Thos. I wonder if that is uh, the clue is is are these walls that have the letters wouldn't surprise me Okay, let's uh, let's sleep here and then we'll move on. I don't know where we're going to next, but there's definitely other places we can visit Um, we can have a look. Well, we can look at our map. How about that? There's a question mark to our southwest. The hold. We, oh, you know what? We need to check out, yeah, the southwest. That's where we need to go. And we need to try and get the bone tooth weapon so that we can defeat Slethen. That's what's up. 
kindling here. I wish there wasn't uh, amber here. Let's uh, let's go. I don't know if uh, these creatures count towards my um, goals. Probably not. I wouldn't count them. Yeah, they don't. We still need to defeat 46 enemies. I haven't been defeating any. Um, you really like if there's no risk, there's no reward. But hey, bats, this is perfect. Um, oh, these these bats are also maddened. So uh, they, they were defeating themselves. Can we please go and collect those furs? Cool. There we go. Oh, there's a ship on its way. So what does this say? Uh, a burning rock and in the distance the town glowing deep within the ravine Okay Oh one of these is destroyed that's interesting the spores of decay dank moist earth and the twinkle of lights in the distance the Great mountains split by a river and a town huddled along the rocks Mark the location on your map as a question mark. And then this one says nothing because it is broken. Oh. Mimsy marks. Oh. So I don't know. Apparently we go right that works and then up that works, but not left. Okay, so I, that tells me that I've completed two of these. Burning rock and in the distance a town glowing deep within a ravine. Maybe I'm wrong about that? So I don't know, um, but that's interesting. But this isn't really helpful uh, i don't know how to how to pass through here i thought this was the oh this is this is a different ruin what are these huh dust scar it's pointing towards dust scar and towards iskar isakar interesting why is it pointed towards those? There's definitely something interesting here. There's tons of things we can uh, find out to our northwest, but I thought that there was a reason that we had to be here. The... not the hole. Tomb west of Wintershall. I already checked that out, right? Serpent's eye. Wall clue. Mm. Yeah, wall clue. Someone has carved my heart. Lot hides behind a word made of by walls. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely related. Uh, bushes and the trees of winter just seem to mean something. Well, I think it means has. I uh, found a note. Graveyard key is in the locked chest. Oh, that's your shed note. Okay. Also hides terrible creatures. Fallen tunnel, I was already there. Pretty much solved that one. Ruin seems to be of some significance. Go north of Wintershaw, hug the coast, you'll find a ruin surrounded by four lakes. Yeah, well, we already did that. I still need to find the red grove. Lightless sky will bring him forth. Bring fire to the f to four to summon him. This is a Sarah sign, do Sarah sign, and has Sarah sign. Interesting. Okay, well, um, none of this is really progressing us towards anything. There's the Garden of Lorelei. There's the hold. 
Temple of the Rapier. Rapier. Um, I feel like I keep going back to Moon Upon Thos, but I, I have been a lot of places and not really accomplished anything. I'm gonna go west. I don't want to use another stone. So I'm just gonna go west. You know what? We'll fight some bats. How about that? We'll fight some bats while we are maddened. That? We took a lot of damage there. My goodness. That was, that was needless. Have we been to that? Yeah, that's the hold. That's the hold, but not the hole. I don't know where, oh, there's the hole. I think we have been to the hole. We're gonna go west. Um, I'd like to go and back to the moon upon Thos, but not use a, um, a stone. And we're gonna go northwest because I haven't really been northwest. Stunned. Okay, you know what? Let's use a bloodstone. Enough of this. We're probably gonna get... Oh god, I can't... That was... That was a lot. How much... How, how close do we are, are, are we to, to getting this? Six more. Only six. Have we been here? Probably we have. Uh, we have been here, but now we can grind uh, some more of these Sibaroon robots or whatever they're called. I, I'm sure I get that wrong every time. Let's. I know I shouldn't do this, but I really just want to get this quest done with. Please, please do not leave. Okay. As long as we pick up the ancient metal, I'm good. Okay, I think we're done here. We can't do anything else here. Um, we're gonna head more west still. I guess we could fight some wolves. Probably not a great idea, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down a bloodstone. Wow, that... Well, okay, that hit me. That's... That's how we die. Um, we're gonna go ahead and convert our bleeding into health. And, uh, hope that we survive. Okay, we're in amber. We are maddened, but that's fine, actually. We can t totally handle these guys. Yes! Defeat 50 enemies while insane. Two devotion points with our uh, Jester God. So, cause targets target creature to strike all adjacent creatures to the north, south, east, and west with 100% chance of doing damage. Is really nice. Place a small annoying doll on the floor which will explode a short time later. I kind of want to save for something better, like one of these maybe. Lancing strike that moves a row of enemies toward you by one space and then pierces through every one. Damage is based on your current weapon. But then there's this. Summon a powerful supernatural en entity who demands a constant stream of sacrifices. It, if not satisfied, it will turn on you. Wow, okay. Change the allegiance of, say, any magic mechanical foe or destroy traps and collect their components as ancient scraps. Wow, that sounds really cool, actually. Can we complete one of these? Discover every type of wand and orb. Find 50 ruins. Enter all the overworld henges. Gain the pale heart. 
Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, so I guess this is not a great one. Uh, affects the target in one of a number of curious and rather random ways, funnier than it is effective. Okay, that doesn't sound great. If I got completed one more of these, defeat a relic guardian, find a legendary sword, axe, or club, gain the steadfast hand. I feel like that is the most likely one. That's actually kind of one we're working on right now. Uh, if we got one of that one, then I could uh, spend our devotional tier on... Uh... Oh, God. Please. Okay, uh, let's throw down that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, we get something from that? We do if we can pick it up. Ghostly amulet. Amulet is made of something black, soft, and yielding, speckled with tiny filaments of pale white. The Barolin scholars have debated the device's existence for many years, with opinions split on whether it is a myth or that it is simply too hard to find such a creation. Well, apparently I found it. Okay. Oh no, please don't kill me. Now that I found something cool. That's, yeah, I was gonna say that that's gonna hit us for sure. Oh, do we have a potion? We do. Uh, six. Uh, can we do another bloodstone? Can we just hit them? Please just hit them. Oh god, there's another one. Uh, this sucks. We're probably gonna die here. After we got that cool item. I'll use a potion of healing, but yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That really bites. And let me guess, we didn't complete this. Which means, do we still have... That's right, we didn't complete the... Oh man, I really need to... I, I wish it would set a checkpoint when you leave the ruin. <laughs> because then you find yourself in, in this situation and it just sucks. Or I gotta redo this ruin. Well, we got a minor, a broken minor construct this time. That is pretty good. But I'd rather have my devotion back. Please, please just kill. Okay, thank you. Now we're leaving. Uh, and now we fight wolves. Please just kill. Oh God. Oh. Uh, how close are we? I can't believe we have to do it again. It's just such a blow. Uh, we're actually getting pretty hungry. I should kill a couple hedgehogs. Get some meat. I guess the fur also counts towards, um, like, getting some money. Uh, I'll eat some badger meat. And some hedgehog meat. Wow, we have ten of those? Just gonna, like, continue eating all of that. Alright. Alright. We're slowed. You equipped your equipped items are slowing you down. You're moving at somewhat normal speed. Okay, well we're done. I guess I don't really want to move through that whole area. We can get some kindling. I know the the episode's running long. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna get to look uh, moon upon Thos and then I'm done. Cause um, I, like I know where I'm headed to next. We're gonna head to. Um, the northwest. I have to assume there's a town there that I haven't been to. Let's see if we can't get our... There we go. 
So we got our devotional tier back. We're good. I just need to not be insane. Oh God, please. Is that, please, please go gambler's amulet. That's not the same one. Uh, complex design resembling a set of dice organized in a ring. Its provenance is unknown. Interesting. I mean, that's pretty cool too. It's not a ghostly amulet, but it is similar maybe. Oh, I really don't want to be in this business. Can we convert our madness? Yeah. Okay, we're leaving. We're going back to Moon Upon Thos. We'll set a checkpoint there. I'm not stopping for anything. Cheese now. Okay, maybe we'll stop for some cheese. Uh, let's let's kill that lad. It's funny how we can't like walk in our own. Oh, we're no longer mad. That's why. I was gonna say we were, we were unable to like move around by our own cognition. However, we can fight with like pristine accuracy. I'm starting to regret not just using one of those Haven stones. Cause this has been a lot. Like, yeah, we did get to, uh, we got our devotional tier. That's nice. But uh, my goodness. All right, uh, I think in the next episode, I will head, head northwest, but I do want to make another trip to Harrow Lynn. Um, is it Harrow Lynn or whatever it's called? Just to double check that I've done everything there and seen everything um, because, you know, I'm, I, I have been skipping NPCs. I've been skipping dialogue trees, and I think it's important to, to check all of those to make sure that we're, you know, we have all the information because information is very useful in this game. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.